Well, Burundi has been gripped by a political crisis since April of that year when Kurunziz announced he would stand for a third term. Well, for the latest on the eve of the Burundi vote, journalist Mohamed Yusuf joins me by phone from Bujumbura. Good evening, Mohamed. Good evening, Vincent. Now, it's uh, just a matter of hours before this vote is taken. Can you describe for us uh, the political atmosphere in the country today? Uh, Burundi uh, today has been very quiet, calm. People were going about their daily activities. Um, but uh, so far, if you speak to people in the streets, they're really fearful. Um, uh, maybe what tomorrow might bring. They don't know what tomorrow will be like. And mm -hmm. uh, as you may aware, this is the first time Burundi will be going, will be doing this kind of election referendum. So they're really going into a very different territory compared to elections that they're used to. Mm -hmm. So they really don't know what will tomorrow look like, but yes. uh, uh, they mm -hmm. hope that uh, things will, will work out well. Now, for the period you were there, to what extent would you say both sides, the no side and the yes side of this vote, have had the opportunity to sell their position to the electorate? Yeah, for the time we were here, especially the ruling party were really able to go about their business and do their campaigns. Also, the, those people who are against the proposed constitutional changes also campaigning freely. But for the few that we spoke to, they were telling us from the opposition, they were saying that uh, there were a bit of intimidations here and there, and people were too afraid to work with them, for example, provide helping them with transport uh, vehicles and stuff like that. But uh, so far, what has really been worrying in both uh, rallies or from both yes and no has been that people, how they're really afraid to speak their mind and tell you why they think they should vote yes or no. There have been no much freedom. People are not free to speak uh, their mind even in both rallies that we visited. And we know that there's a huge uh, uh, kind of uh, crowd of uh, Burundians who are actually outside of the country who are to run away because of uh, the skirmishes throughout last year. Uh, has that been uh, part of a conversation there? This is that has been part of the conversation, especially uh, just ordinary people are able to say, look, for example, it's not the right time for us to do this because majority looking at the environment we are is not secure, is not safe. The majority of the people are fled. Most of the politicians, opposition are gone. So they think the time is not right. There, there's that conversation that is going on, which many feel that it is. There is no worries or problem changing a constitution, but the time many feel is not right for Burundi to, to change that. Okay. <clears throat> and you say people are not sure of what tomorrow will bring, uh, but uh, does the government assure people that uh, the process will be free and fair? Yeah, they, that is what they have assured in their last rally. Uh, they were also educating the, the people how they, how they should vote and what to look at. They say that there will be security, but uh, again, yeah. uh, you never know what will happen tomorrow, but people, are really, people have told us they will go and vote yeah. and, and decide when they get there. Mohamed, I want to thank you very much for your reporting. Mohamed Yusuf reporting from Bujumbura in Burundi.